No, this is ENG201. For X to here, ENG201. So it's million indices. So um, here in this million indices, we have um, different kind of previous lattice. Where is it? We have 14 previous words, lattice. So part of which is that we have number one, the simple cubic. Simple. It's a man. It's the name of the man. No, this is previous lattice. Yeah, previous is the name of the yeah, 14. So we have simple cubic parking. Number two, we have the body centered. Parking, sometimes we call it BCC. The next one we have the hexagonal closest pack. We call it the HCP. So we call it SC. And we have this one as CCP, closest cubic, closest. CC what? So now we have other seven and other many like that. Then we now have part of these other ones of this lattice. We have them as primitive. We have the other one also primitive. Here. We have also body centered. You know it now already. It's denoted as I here. We have face centered. We have what cubic as a side side centered you know this one is what body what bc and this one is face centered okay is, that, is this what you can say percentage yeah no these are just different kind of lattice we have so a different kind of packing different kind of packing we have yeah, why this one is different kind of lattice we have yeah. so different kind of how they can pack different kind of their lattice we have i will explain more and why do you use if yeah, that is the denotation. This one is P to represent what primitive. I to represent BCC. F to represent FCC. And C to represent side center. Do you understand what I'm FCC. Face. Cubic center. Face centered what? Cubic parking. This one is body centered cubic parking. What about the side centered? Side centered cubic parking as, as well. So you understand, right? Yeah. So now what we now have next is. um every of these you can represent them using a sphere add sphere like this i draw a sphere like this well let me just say i draw something like this first this is fair right a cube rather so this could be rather here Electron can stay at the corner. How many electrons can say one, two, three, four, five, six? So number of corner we have here is what eight. Now this is this is just a simple cubic pattern. Next one. I we'll also draw it again to show my I have one, two, three. Four, five. This is also my simple cubic, but if I want to make it body centered, I will put one at the middle, insta inside it, internal, and that will show it is what body centered. This is BC. Do you know what I'm saying? So BCC has how many corner? It has eight corners and one internal. So it has number of corner as what eight, and you have the interior interior as what one so it does not have any it does not have any face or any side zero it does not have anyone on the side why this one has how many corner how many does he has interior no does he has face no so now let's go to fcc
My user has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. My FCC has side. That means that we can have the first side from here, the front one, the back two, the side, this side three, this side two. We have under five. We have on top. You get what I'm saying? Six. I come again. Yeah. First center now we have the first front one, back two, three, four, five, and six. You know what I'm saying? So that means here for your face centered, we have this is both we have face centered. We have the number of corner how many? Tell me. Eight. We have the number of interior how many? We have the number of now we now have the number of face. Six. six. Because one, two, three, four, five, six. You get what I'm saying? Like that. So we now also have hexagonal parking. Hexagonal parking is like it's in form of six from hexagon. See the diagonal parking as should be at the same time too. So it has how many at the corner? One, two, three, four, five, six. It doesn't have many here. One, two, three, four, five, six, right? So how many corners does he have? Twelve. You got twelve. Yeah, it now has a many at the center at the face one and two. So that's how many face here. Yeah. Also, hexagonal parking has also interior that is three interior atom inside. So it has interior initially. So, do you know what I'm saying now? Yes. So this is HCP. What is HCP? Loses pack. So. Now, before we now talk on milli Bivar synthesis, we, not, we cannot talk about the for cubic closest packing is also HCP. Cubic closest packing is also like HC. They are almost the same thing in the character. But our constitution is more on this. So now, now coming to Kulit, now you can now find the number of units per cell. The number of unit atom per cell that is denoted as NU equals to your NC over how many? Eight. That's the maximum you can have. Plus your NF free centered over two. Plus your NR. So by now say find for BCC. Find the number of units. Find the number of units atom per cell for BCC. Yeah, what will that be answer? Right? That will be NU equals to what? NU 8 over 8. That will be for BCC now. 8 over 8. NF for how many phase? That is 0. correct over 2. My interior for BCC is what? 0. Eh? Interior for BCC is what? 1. 1. Because it's body, body center. That will be NU. Number of units per atom. So will be 1 plus 0 plus. So our NU will now be equal to what? 2. This is 2 units. Atom per cell. You know what I'm saying? So, the, yeah, that is, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, next one, we have also find for your, for FCC now, what will I have? And you will now be face center, that means you have corners, 8 over 8. Then, for face center, for the NF, we have 6. Right, six over two interior. Do you have interior? No, I mean, so therefore, n u will not be because one plus three, n u will not be because I mean, so that is four units per cell. You know what I'm saying? So now, also, that is that. So now, let's look for our HCP. 
Now, HCP is a bit different because HCP will not be doing total number you can have for corner of HCP is how many? 12. That will be 12 over 6 because you can have it here as 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So you can only have it as 6 for one side over 6, and that will be plus the number of face centered for is how many? 2, correct? 2. Correct. Now body center that means you have three. That will be n u now because of two plus one plus so n u because how many? So six units per cell. In that term per cell. You know what I'm saying? Very very correct. So from there we can now move to the crystallographic. For the crystallographic, that is a million watts indices. Now this is work. So from here, one of the first true is that first thing is you need to first of all rule one. You need to first of all find the coordinates. You find the what coordinate. And the coordinates can be represented in the form of curly bracket L comma M comma what? N. Rule two. Okay. After finding the coordinates here, okay. yeah. after finding the coordinates, next thing you do is you clear fraction. Clear what? Clear fraction. When you clear fraction, you can represent as your U, V, and what? Then step three is you now write it in milia brief in milia in this is form. And that will be in square like this, no comma. Your square U V no comma and in square. So for example now is this. Let's say you want to find you always have it like this. This is our x axis, positive x axis. Positive y axis and positive what? Z. You know, originally this is your x, y, z, but for this, previous you have it as x, y, z. Do you know what I'm saying? So, therefore, in this context here, you can now redraw this to now give you a square form. Let's say you have something like this. This can come further down. You just have something like this. Let's say we cut it like this, or I just further add then this like this. So if probably is in your X. So let me withdraw this. Then we have a more clear, refined side. So this is a question here. You have a add sphere. You have this as your what Z, right? You have this as your what Y. Y. And you have this as your. Yes. So yeah, you can be given that this there's a particular thing. A particular atom find here, let's say point D, and now we'll find here point D, and now we'll find here point what? Let's say point A. You know what I'm saying? So these are atoms here. So, how do you denote their state? First thing you need to know is that the coordinates are written like 0, 0, 0 in form of x, y, what? Z. So, if I want to tell you that where is the name of the coordinate of the atom found here, what? 1, 0, 0. Why? I'll pick from this origin 0. I'll pick from here. 1. I come again. The coordinate are written in form of what? 0, 0, 0, right? So, and I want to find the atom here. If an atom is here now, how do you know I'll go in x, z, what? Direction. That'll be 1. It's completely 1. That means it's found in at the half. Now, that'll be what? Half. So, let's say I want to pick for, I want to find the electron on this point A here. I will pick a, I will pick from this edge or from this place. I work from either this one, this one, or this one. So imagine I want to work from here. 
So I'll pick one find this A, the, the atom there, or electron there, I will come walk up. That means my Z is what? One. Right? My Z is one. So I can write that as my point. To do for my point OA, I'll have my Z as what? One. one. I work for that. Which direction is this? One. Y. That is plus Y. But you know, I want to get half. That is half of Y. So my Y is what? Then I now come down to pick this junction. That is what? Zero. What direction is this? X. X. Positive. Because I'm coming down. I don't I'm going like that, but negative. That means positive. That is also half, right? I'm coming to the direction of zero. I'm coming to the direction of where? This direction of X. This direction of what? Z. Direction of Y and direction of what? X. You get what I'm saying? So I have X as half. Now what do I do next? I clear the words. Okay. Eh? So, I I, so I have this as half. Then what do I do? I clear fraction. Clear any words? Fraction. Fraction. That is my OA will now be. Uh, but clear fraction. I have one, one, and that I multiply through by what? By half mm -hmm. or by two. If I multiply through by two now, cancel cancel. I have one, one, and two, right? So one comma one. Now, now write it in milia previous words. Milia previous lattice form. I told you to be what? Square. Then I'll be one, one, two. So that is the answer. No comma. You get what I'm saying? No comma and square. So example now, if I say find the milia previous for D. For D. What will it be? What will I move? I will move from Y, right? Y is closer, right? Mm -hmm. Imagine I move to Z. Z is 1. Y will be what? 1. Mm -hmm. If I'm coming down here, I'm coming opposite direction of what? Mm -hmm. Opposite direction of what? Mm -hmm. Z. Right now? Imagine I want to pass here now. Okay, okay, okay. What will I have? Z is what? 1. 1, right? Yes. Y is what? Yeah. 1 plus 1, right? That is possible. And my Z, I'm not moving in the direction of what? Z. That means that Z is now neg negative what? Half. So the original one minus half. I will still have it as what? Half. And my X is what? You get what I'm saying? Yes. But the faster way is that you move to what? Y. So let's come for Y. For my D, O, D. My direction coordinates will now be first in. Let's go. Y is what? One. Right? Then I move to my positive of what? Z, right? Is it half or one? Half. Correct. Is my x zero? Or is, is x is what? X, I don't have x here now. My x is what? Zero. You see, see the same? So, what would I do? I'll clear what next? Very fast. Clear fraction. And my answer will have OD will now be just multiply two by half. Right? I'll have zero. This will be two. Uh -huh. Then I'll write in media previous like this. That will have called square bracket, right? Zero to the answer. So assignment, you can now find find your words. O B. Very very simple. What answer? So do you answer? And let's see with the Y. What will be answer? So our answer we have here with what? One one. 